Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you practical number five. That is, create a network with three routers with RIP V1, and each router associated network will have minimum three PCs and show the connectivity. So guys, this is what my topology or interface which I am going to use. So here you can see I have already connected my router switches and different PCs. So here you can see this is one network, this is another network and this is another network. So if I want to send packet from this network to this network or this network, I can send. Okay, so different networks. So here I am just sending packet from this network to this network. And you can see it's showing me successfully. Okay, so this is what our practical. I will be demonstrating you step by step how you can connect PCs, routers, and switches, and how you can configure your router for RIP V1. So let's start the video. Okay, guys, I have started my Cisco packet tracer. Now I will be showing you how to create topology. So from network devices, you select your router. So I'm selecting PT router. So you can just press control and select this because I need three router. So rather than going uh, and selecting again and again, you can just press control and select that. So now I have uh, released my control button and I'm just clicking over here and one more router over here one more router over here so router 0 router 1 router 2 okay after taking router i will be taking switches so here i'm going to select pt switch so again press control and select this pt switch and drop it guys over here okay so my three router done now in each network i'm going to take three pieces so i'm going to go to end devices and here i'm going to select pc so again press control and select this pc so i need three pc one two three then in this network also i need three pc so if you press control then it becomes easy so done i have taken three pc now we will be connecting through cables so let's go to this connection and now i will be taking this automatically choose connection because uh, for each connection i need different router to router is different router to switch is different so better let's uh, this decide automatically what connection or cable i need so again you can press control and select this and now guys you can just click here and just drop here and then click here drop here click here drop here and then this to this okay okay so this is done now let me connect router to router so for router to router this type of cable is used so i'll show you over here this cable serial dt cable is used okay so guys my uh, connection is also done now let's assign ip addresses to pcs and then we will go to router for configuring it okay so now i'll just click on this pc and here i will go to desktop and ip configuration okay before assigning this ip configuration i would like to show you one table that will make uh, your understanding clear like what ip addresses you can assign so guys you can see here for pc i'm assigning ip address as 10.10.2 .10 and i'm taking default uh, gateway as what 10.10.10.1 .10 so if you see here pc0 pc1 pc2 they are in one network so i have given uh, this default gateway same uh, ip addresses i'm giving 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 and for this machine 3 and for this machine 4 and this is what my network address it will be in a range 10.10.10.0 okay so for pc number 3 to pc number 5 i'm taking 20.20.20.2 20.20.20.3 and 20.20.20.4 this will be ip addresses for my machines and this is going to be what default gateway so 20.20.20.1 .20 and this is going to be my uh i network address okay and similarly for pc6 to pc7 i have taken 30.30.30.2 .30 .30 .30 3 and 4 and i'm taking default gateway as 30.30.1 .30 for all pcs and this is what my network address okay so let's first complete this part and then i'll 
explain you this router configuration okay so here i'm going to select this pc and now here we will be assigning default gateway so just now i have shown you i'm going to assign default gateway for this machine as 10.10.1 for all this three machine i will be taking the same default gateway and here i'm going to give ip address as 10.10.2 and just press star and subnet mask has been generated cross it now select the second machine go to desktop ip configuration and then here my ip address is going to be 3 and then my default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1 okay take this machine go to desktop configuration and here this is going to be 4 and then guys this you have to take 10.10.10.1 done okay so for this we are done now let's go to this okay so for this i'm taking 20.20.20.20.20.20.20 .20 .20 .20 .20 .20 .20 so this is going to be my this machine ip address and the subnet mask for this is going to be this range okay 20.20.20.1 .20 so for all machines i'm going to assign same subnet mask because they are in the same network so here and here i'm going to give us 20.20.20.3 .20 okay done now go to this machine and do the configuration IP configuration 20.20.20.4 and then here 20.20.20.1 okay so this is done and now let's go to this machine and let's assign uh, IP address so I will be taking 30.30.30. See, I'm taking simple IP address so that you remember and you can do. You can take any IP address, no problem. So 30.30.30.2 is my IP address of this machine. And then subnet mask, I'm going to give 30.30.30.1. Okay, let me just copy this so that I can paste to other uh, devices. So here I'm again taking IP configuration. And this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 30.30.30.1 and now let's go to this machine desktop ip configuration this will be what 4 and here i have to give as 30.30.1 okay guys so now my this machine uh, ip configuration is done all six machine now we will be doing configuration of router so you can see my this router 0 is connected to this switch and uh, again this router is connected to this router okay so what i have to do i have to do the settings of router so first i will be doing network connection so i am going to select this router and now here we will be doing uh, configuration through this config you can do through cli also and guys you can see my this router is connected to this network as well as this network so this is connected to fast ethernet um, so I'm going to select fast ethernet and first of all I'm going to click on on button and here I'm going to assign IP address of this network. So I will be assigning 10.10.10.1. Okay, so this is what IP address for this and now I'm going to select serial 2. So serial 2 this is connected to what this router. So I'm going to give one address to this router so again i need to just click on this on button and here assign the ip address so let me just take you to my document again and here guys you can see how i have given i have assigned gigabit ethernet 10.10.10.1 because that's a, a, a subnet mask of first network and for this uh, network serial i am assigning 40.40.40.1 okay so let's do that okay so here i'm going to assign 40.40.40.1 okay so this address i have assigned to this router ip con ip address now i'll just close this and now you can see this router is connected to router 0 as well as router 2 so i have assigned address 40.40.40.1 
to this router so i am going to assign 40.40.40.2 to this as well as you can see this is connected to this so i will assign gigabit address also so now again i will go to ip config and fast ethernet just switch on it and assign the address of this network so my second network is having what uh, 20.20.20.1 so I've just assigned that and go to serial 2 and now guys here you can see this is connected to two serial port okay here and here so I need to assign IP address of this range so I give 40.40.40.12 router 0 so here I'm going to give 40.40.40.2 and guys don't forget to switch on this router and now go to serial 30 and one more thing i would like to show you whatever setting you are doing you can see uh, it's showing over here command line interface so uh, this command is generated over here so and type the command here also and you can do okay i find config easy so hence i'm doing so now here i will be assigning network address to this router so let's take network address as 50.50.50.1 .50 so this is done and i'm going to switch on this okay now i will go over here now you can see it's showing me in green i will go over here i will again sell, go to config and here i'm going to select fast ethernet and now here uh, i will assign network address of this so that is 30.30.30.1 and guys i'm going to switch on this and then I will go to serial 2. Now this is connected to only router number 1. So I am going to uh, uh, give IP address which are in range of router number 1. So 50.50.50.2. .50 okay. So this is what done. IP configuration is done. I will just switch on this. So IP configuration for all devices as well as for router is done. Okay guys, now let's do our IP setting for router number 0. So just select this and go to RIP. So uh, guys, here it is showing me RIP routing. So by default, it is version 1. If you want to do it for version 2, just follow my next video. I have given link in description box. Okay guys, now let's assign network addresses. So I'm going to give 10.0.0.0 zero uh, for my network one and then 20.0.0.0 for my network two okay similarly i will be giving all the remaining network addresses over here so 30 and then here i'm going to give us 40 and lastly one more i'm having 50 okay so done now Let's go to the next router and do the same settings over there. So select this, go to RIP and now add the addresses. So first of all, I'm going to give 10, then 20 and then 30. And guys, you can see here the command is generated. Okay. If you want to do through CLI, you can do. So I've done 30, now 40 and lastly 50. Okay, so for a router 1 also done, let's take router 2, go to RIP and now assign the address. So here I'm going to take uh, 10 and then 20, then 30. And guys 40 and let's assign the last address that is 50 okay so guys you can see my RIP router setting also done now let's cross it and now let's verify by pinging or by sending PDU so uh, we'll do what we'll send PDU also we will try with ping command so let's take uh, uh, PC 0 of network 1 and PC4 of network 2 and guys it's showing me fail no problem you can try once again sometime it gets fail so PC0 and PC4 and guys you can see it's showing me successful don't worry if it shows fail you can take other network also so here and here same network I have assigned 
and now I'll take this network and this network okay it's showing me fail no problem try again so PC4 to PC7 yeah it's showing me successful okay so guys here you can see it's showing me the uh, source and destination okay so now now let me uh, show you through ping command also so just select this pc and go to command prompt and here type ping and the ip address so i'm taking 20.20.2 that is second network first machine guys it's showing me request timeout for first packet and for remaining packet it has shown me if at least one of the packet lost you get failed over here but here you can see it's showing you successfully okay so guys that was all about like uh, creating a network with different devices and connecting them so guys i hope by following my video you are able to perform this practical if yes then do let me know in comment box and if you like this video do hit on like button if you have any difficulty then you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your problem and guys you can join my telegram channel there i'm sharing lots of pdf related to computer uh, programming and coding that too freely the link is in description box and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care